Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. It ended up being so super glossy wet. You can see a little bit there. We have a baby due literally any day. I might get a, a scream and have to run upstairs. And This is a quick behind the scenes tour. Never ever been seen before footage of the Wall Street house. Hey guys, happy new year, happy 2020. Today is January 1 of uh, the new year. We have a whole fresh new year ahead of us to work on our projects and our builds. Uh, I just wanna take this time uh, and make a post today, make an update. Uh, first of all, I wanna kind of apologize. I haven't meant to ghost anybody here. I kind of dropped off the face of the earth for a, a few days here because of Christmas, family, and a couple other projects. So uh, I just wanted to apologize. Um, I know a little bit different camera angle here. I wanted to show you real quickly that I've got my weldments back from the powder coater. So I picked those up uh, just before Christmas, actually just after Christmas, and uh, it, it turned out pretty well. <clears throat> My idea for the weldments was that I wanted to have pretty much everything that wasn't visible black and anything high visible painted in like a gray or silver. Um, but as you can see, the cabin frame is black. Uh, There's a bit of miscommunication there and somehow he painted it black instead of the silver. Um, I was going to have him do it over, but quite honestly, the silver that I picked out, the way it flowed in, and uh, and so forth didn't quite have the same look that I was looking for and after seeing the black the black came out actually I want to say nearly perfect like nearly perfect it's super high gloss it looks wet it looks like if you would touch it it would leave black on your hands I mean that's how shiny glossy deep it is and I just told I just told them we'll just leave it so my cabin frame is gonna be black now instead of silver everything else of high visibility, like the, the Y stick is going to be silver, uh, the outside gear leg attach points, and the nose gear is going to be silver. But anyway, I have those here, so they're ready to uh, be bolted on as soon as I get my fuselage together. Another thing I want to be just completely transparent and honest about, you know, I had my goal written down on the board of getting the fuselage, everything in the box completed, and I failed to meet that goal, um, not from lack of trying, just from everything going on with uh, my wife being pregnant. I'm not sure if I've shared that with the whole entire group, the whole world yet, but we are due any day, literally any day, any moment. So I've been needing to tend to her, and then when she's having what they call Braxton Hicks contractions, kind of take care of our other little girls and our children, so that has unfortunately taken me away from my project. I'm hoping that obviously uh, this will all happen really soon. Uh, our new baby will arrive and I'll get onto another schedule here. But there was something else I need to get done before baby arrived and that is a bathroom build out. So I have been building, just not on aircraft the last, I think today is day five. I'm taking a break just to say hello real quick to you guys. But uh, day five is gonna be mudding and sanding our bathroom. We did a, a kind of an opposite thing of a shower to tub upgrade because we bought a house a couple years ago knowing that we needed to do this, but just hadn't. But we don't have a, a tub in the house. We've got three little ones, so we need a tub. So I've been working for the past, this is day five of upgrading from a shower to a tub. And I'll, give, I'll show you, not that this is a Bob the Builder channel. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? But I'll give you a quick walk around tour of the overhaul in a minute. Okay, a couple of things real quick, kind of our articles of business or whatnot. I wanted to do a couple of shout outs. Uh, as you guys know, with this build, build challenge, I also started a new group on Facebook, the Experimental Aircraft Channel group. And over 580 of you have joined in the last three, three to four weeks, which is really great. Uh, a lot of good posts on there. And I just wanted to give a few call outs to a few people. I want to say they've been kind of 
uh, the top performers or top posters, if you will, of uh, giving us updates on their projects. And many of you have been sharing, which is great, and I encourage all 580 of you to, uh, to, to, to share. There's been about, I don't know, 30 or 40 on a regular basis. Uh, and the top few, not in any particular order, I want to call out to uh, uh, Vance Simmons. Thank you very much for your, I think, daily or nearly daily posts on your update. Thank you very much for helping to motivate us and keep us engaged. Vance Simmons, Don Watson from Down Under, and his, uh, his Frankenstein All Metal Project, which I think we have a lot to learn from Don and his metal work, uh, and Derek Klassen up in, uh, I believe, Canada. Um, so thanks, guys, for, for your continued posts and encouraging me this is exciting for me that this is this is working you guys are sharing your stuff we're getting we're get to see what your garage and shop you know looks like we get to see what, what this looks like um, some other people want to call it real quick um, Oliver Reich uh, Gary Carter Robin DeMarco Mark Jackson Billy Kirchner John Pratt Greg Doyle Nick Costin Darren Tower Rocky Freeze Chris Hollenbach and many more. And uh, again, guys, I just really appreciate you guys kind of stepping up and uh, taking a chance and sharing your own personal shop and your your project. There's a lot more people that are, are posting. I just kind of skimmed through really quickly just to see what names have popped up the most in the last few days to, uh, to a week. Um, and I encourage you guys to keep posting and to share what you have going on in, in your your workshop and garage there. All right, so I mentioned before we have a baby due literally any day. I might get a, a scream and have to run upstairs and pack the van up and uh, head to the hospital, so I'm on ready five alert. Um, but I just wanted to say that this year, I think is gonna be a very, very fun year, a very pivotal year for the Experimental Aircraft Channel. It's growing, um, we're over 21,000 subscribers now. Not that I'm looking at that solely as a uh, indication of growth and where this is going, but I have a lot of ideas and I want to execute on them this year. Um, so there's a lot of things that are coming down the pike here that I just have to, that I'm very, very much looking forward to implement. So guys, stay tuned. There's a lot of, a lot of new things that are gonna be happening with the channel and with the community. I want to get a lot more people involved uh, and get started in this great community of aviation. Uh, and it's going to take you, it's going to take all of you uh, to get this going. So stay engaged, stay focused. Uh, let me give you a quick tour. Just I'll give you just a quick tour of what I've done on the, on the fuselage. I'm still working in the baggage area. There's a couple little areas there that take a little bit more time than I originally thought. Um, they're just not, it's either, it's in the plan, but not dimensioned. And there's some areas that uh, you kind of have to experiment on your own to get it, get it going there. All right, guys, just a, a quick walk around of the powder coating. Again, not sure how much this will show up on camera, but the reason why I decided to keep this cabin frame uh, in black is just it ended up being so super glossy wet you can see a little bit there I mean that's the way I guess powder coating is supposed to look but just this really really turned out turned out really nice and I was impressed with it so we're sticking with black instead of the silver I got a couple uh, little things painted like the door handles in red uh, so they'll be high visible um, there's the outside gear leg attachment, spring gear, rudder pedals, seat backs, torque tubes, and various other other parts there for metal. There's two things missing that is the Y stick and the nose gear strut. He's gonna do a clear, which I didn't know you can do over top, and see if that can come out just a little bit glossier. Okay, just a quick Zoomed in shot right there, you see those L angles that are riveted in place. And it's maybe hard to see from the picture, but they don't quite line up. Um, there's about an eighth inch to three sixteenths kind of drop um, from that one right there 
the one in the back, and that's a shelf essentially, so which is right there. Uh, so if I left that as it is right now, it would kind of distort the metal. So I need to drill out a few rivets and realign that. Again, that part really isn't dimensioned in the drawings or the assembly manual. Kind of leaves that up to you. Uh, one little tip or trick, if you are building a Zenith on this back baggage wall here, uh, you see these pieces that are going up on the sides here. If you keep one of them out, in other words, you know, obviously don't rivet it, but keep one out um, as you get this metal in here. Uh, it would make it a lot easier of, of putting that in place. But there's the fuselage. Are you ready for the shaky camera clip? Uh, this is going to be a vlog style just to give you a quick tour of what's been going on um, non-aviation related in the house. And that's one of them. So this is a quick behind the scenes tour. Never ever been seen before footage of the Wall Street house. And I'll make this really, really quick. Shaky camera, shaky camera. Hey, girls. Are you ready to come down and play? Can you say hi? Good morning. Good morning. All right. You want to say hi? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Prego. How you doing, Prego? Hang in there. Hang in there. All right. I want to see what's You want to see what's going on. All right. So this is what's been going on. Wait, wait, wait up like that. In the house. I, I, I want to see that. I want to try. So this right here used to be a shower, and uh, of course for little ones you need a tub. Now a couple people have suggested why not just bathe in the uh, kitchen sink, which we've done that and that works. But we have kind of like a production line going on here with three girls, so it's time to upgrade. And the other thing is. The other thing is, uh, the shower pan was starting to leak, and the seat, the seating area had cracked. So it was just time to do it. So, took a day to rip out the shower. Another day to kind of prep everything and kind of trial fit. But this is what we have. All right. So I don't have the the widest angle camera available here, but as you can see, we're still in the drywall stage. Um, and I'll be doing the mud mud today. So there's the tub. We decided to go with one of these acrylic fiberglass with a bow. It gives a little bit more room for the adults, a little more play areas for the kids. And this is an American Standard product, which, as you know, are usually pretty good. I'm not very impressed with the plastic, acrylic plastic wall surround. It is about as thin as the plastic found in a Cessna, but it's easy to clean, right? So. Anyway, that's what I've been working on as fast as fast can be to try to get this thing finished before baby arrives. Hey, if you're brand new here, I wanted to invite you right now to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button on this video and the little bell notification for future videos. If you haven't checked us out yet on Facebook, go over to Facebook and like and follow for the Experimental Aircraft Channel page. And then on there, there's a button to visit group and I invite you right now to join the group. Join the group and share with me and the rest of the world what you have going on in your workshop garage hangar. Uh, you know, I, I interview people that are building uh, in their garages, homes, hangars, kitchens. There's a bus. There's a bus out there and if I can help it and if I can get out there, I'm going to share with you guys a bus. There's somebody building a bus. Anyway, welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Uh, looking forward to growing our community with you to get more people involved in experimental, light sport, and ultralight aviation. I'll see you in the next videos.